have shoes. Say hi. Do you have shoes? Yeah. Roman, what's your name? Uh, hi. Roman Lehigh. Hi. Yeah. Yes. How old are you? Uh, two. You are two. Roman's two, and so obviously that means that I'm going to be I'm starting. Two. What? So obviously that means that I am starting to think about potty training him. Yeah. <laughs> He's he just turned two in October. Typically with my kids, I've potty trained anywhere from just barely two years old until like two and a half. With my older kids, when I started potty training them, it was more of a thrill or an excitement that now my kid or my baby wasn't a baby anymore and that they were gonna be a big kid. So potty training was always really exciting to me. And often I just jumped into it, kind of without even thinking about it, but just like going for it and be like, let's just see if it works. Let's just go by the underwear. Let's just go by the potty seats. Let's find all these cool tricks and um, read all these cool books and find things and ways to make this fun and exciting and easy. With Ava, I started her when she was like 19 or 20 months because somebody somewhere said that they could do it. And so I thought, well, why not? She's a smart girl. I bet she could catch on. And it just wasn't clicking for her. Plus, I didn't know what I was doing. Like half the time I had no idea what I was doing. So then I held off and when she was like two and a half, then I potty trained her, it worked out great. I did the exact same thing with Jaslyn. <laughs> I started and then stopped and then started again and then she was potty trained and it was fine. After potty training the first two kids, I kind of got the hang of it a little bit more and I knew what I was doing. So I made a kind of like mental checklist in my mind of things to do or things to make sure was happening or working before I started the potty training process. That was what was tripping me up. Every single time that I would try to do it, my kids, or I wasn't ready like we didn't check off all of our boxes hi from the future so I'm editing this video and as I started editing I forgot to mention one of the things that I feel like is probably the most important part about this video <laughs> but prepping for potty training like laying this groundwork is probably more valuable or more important than actually potty training I was always the type that wanted to just get in and just start doing it and then I regretted it instantly or I realized, whoa, my child is not ready, but I didn't know that they weren't ready because I didn't know that I was supposed to lay down this groundwork. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there to kind of help make it a little bit easier to understand. Back to the video. So as I'm starting to do this with Roman, I just stop and I go over the list in my head and I'm like, okay, is he meeting all these milestones that I require my kids to meet before I start potty training in order to make this the most smooth and stress-free process or system <laughs> as it can be. So at like 18 months old, I start putting them on the potty. This is the easiest for me when I'm running the bath water. My kids typically take baths every single night. There are some times that I skip a, a few nights, just, just a few, but typically my kids bath every night. That being the case, while the water's running, I will usually just take off their dry diaper and then sit them on the toilet. You wanna sit on the toilet? Okay. okay. I love it. Daddy! Yay! Daddy! Daddy. Daddy. It's dirty? Okay. It's clean. Okay. The bathroom. A bathroom. Go bathroom. I do it because one of the things that I struggled with my older kids, um, especially with Ava, at the very beginning she was really nervous to sit on the toilet. Like it just scared her, and so the whole potty training experience just wasn't a positive one because she was afraid of the toilet. I did use a potty seat, but then it made transition from the potty seat to the actual toilet tough. <laughs> so I really like kind of getting my kids or exposing them to being able to sit on the toilet. While they're sitting on it, then I'll talk to them about what's going on. I'll, you know, I'm just gonna be honest. I just tell them like it is. Are you gonna go poopies? Yes. Poopies. Poopies. Yes. Where do you go poopies? Poopies. Yes, where do the poopies go? Poopies. <laughs> where do the poopies go? Poopies. In the toilet. Poopies in the toilet. Yes. Poopies in the toilet. Yes. Go. Go poopies. Go, go, go. Hey. <laughs> 
Bowman is already really used to sitting on the toilet. He knows exactly what it is. He knows what he's supposed to do on it. There have been a few times that he has like pooped in the toilet. Though Those are the times that I feel like that he realizes the most what's going on because I can take him off the seat and point to it and show him he can see it. With the pee, he can't really see it so much. He can feel it, so usually I have to catch it as soon as he's going and be like, oh, yay, you're doing it. Good job. Did you go? Yes. Here you go. You did it! Yay! Big boy! I oh, good job. Keep going. I see you going more. I did. Good job. He actually does go every single time that I stick it on. <laughs> did you fall in there? No. No. Did it scare you? No. Are you okay? No. Do you need a hug? No. I'm gonna give you a hug. Does that feel better? Okay. So as I was saying, I have him sit on the toilet because he'll go every time. It helps so that he doesn't have any accidents in the tub. Plus it gets him really good exposure to go into the bathroom on the toilet. Um, so that when we potty train that he knows what's going on and he it helps the process be a lot easier. So that's like huge in making it smooth and easy. Another thing that I do is I make sure that my kid can follow instructions. So sometimes then I'll test it out and like I'll call their name. I'll tell them to come here. If they can come to me, then that's great. Or I'll say, okay, Roman, come here, go get this out of your bedroom. And if he can follow the instructions, then I know, okay, he's gonna, like it's gonna be easier. We'll take it in the boys' room. Yes. Okay. Get that brush and go put it in the girls' room. When we potty train, if I tell him he has to keep his pants dry, if he doesn't know how to follow instructions or if he doesn't know what I'm talking about when I when I talk to him, he he's not gonna understand. So when people say, oh, kids are so young, they don't understand, they just don't because you didn't teach them how. I also talk to him a lot about like if he has a diaper on and he stops and pauses to poop, you guys know, you know the face that your kid makes and you know what's going on when they're making it. Catch him in those moments and I catch him and I say, hey, are you going to the bathroom? You're pooping, go, good. <clears throat> because when we start potty training, I'm gonna wanna talk to him and tell him all those things while he's sitting on the toilet. I've also caught him like as he's getting ready to <laughs> go to the bathroom and I'll just stop and pause and then run him into the bathroom, take off his diaper and sit him on the toilet to let him finish. Hmm, what else? Oh, talk, conversations. I make sure that I can have conversations with my two-year-old. So I'll sit down and I'll just talk to him. Just a second. Roman! Okay. So, I'll just show you what I mean with having conversations with him. Hey, Roman, do you remember when we went sledding? Yeah. Did you go sledding? Yeah, I fell. You fell. Yes. Which sled did you sit on? Uh, uh, blue. On the blue one? Yeah. Was it fun? Yes. And what happened when you went on the blue sled? Uh, I blue one And you fell. Did you get hurt? Yeah. You did? Uh, I'm not What? You went on the orange one too? Yeah. Was it fun? Yes. Wow. Did you like it? Yeah. Good. Uh, green. And you went on the green one? Yeah. Good. So I just sit and have a conversation with him and him being able to talk back to me. I mean, I'm sure you guys didn't hear half of what he was saying or you couldn't understand it, but because I sit and have conversations with him all the time, I knew exactly what he was saying. It's gonna help when I start to potty train him and I start to talk to him about what's going on. What are you sitting on? Yes, Daddy. Daddy. What? On the toilet? Yes. Yes, what are you gonna do? Yes. Are you gonna go poopies? Do you like to sit on the toilet? Yeah. Yeah? What do you do on the toilet? Uh, and you go poopies on the toilet. Good. You know that, huh? Yes. What? Yes. And when you take a bath? Yeah. yeah. He goes poopies on the toilet when he takes a bath. Yeah. Do you wear a diaper? Yeah. Do you like your diaper? Yeah. Your diaper's right there. Yeah. What do you want to wear? Uh, a girl's helmet. <laughs> what? A girl's helmet. He says he wants to wear skibbies tonight. We call our underwear for boys skibbies, so. He wants to wear his skibbies, huh? 
All of these things that he's doing are like huge signs showing that he's ready. It wouldn't be the normal signs that you would think to look for, but just like I said, the fact that I can talk to him, I can understand him, he can understand me when I'm talking to him, that shows me or it tells me that he is ready for potty training. Uh, oh, you're so cute. Another thing that I check for or watch for is that I have a handle on his tantrum situation. Being two-year-old, obviously the, the typical idea around two-year-olds is tantrums. If you try to potty train a child who you don't have the tantrums under control, it's gonna be really hard. I know, Take, I, I mean, I'm com it's coming from experience. And here's why, because if they have an accident, usually it's something that kind of shocks them and if their tantrums aren't under control they will likely melt down have a tantrum and the whole thing and you can't even talk them through the situation or what's going on because you don't have the tantrums under control so when he was about 18 to 20 months we got his tantrums under control and if you don't know how i did that then i'll link the video of how i got his tantrums under control he is meeting all of those things he met all of the things that i like my checklist. You're a goofball. No. Are, you, are you a goofball? No. Who's a goofball? Ever. <laughs> Nova's a goofball? Yeah. Like I was saying, he is ready to be potty training. Potty training? He's ready to be potty trained. We are ready to go. I am not ready because I know how much like watching that it takes and I'm just not ready to do it, but he is more than ready. So those are the things that I watch for when I am prepping my children for potty training. Do this before you plan to potty train. So if you plan to potty train at two years old, then start all of this stuff at 18 months. I can guarantee you, your process of potty training is gonna be so much smoother because you did it. It's so worth it. So we're ready to potty train. I'm just gonna get myself mentally ready.